I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, a boy is being charged with raping a 69-year-old man who was out for a run. The 17-year-old allegedly attacked the runner in North Chattanooga around 7.30 Monday morning. Police have not said what prompted the attack or whether the victim and suspect knew each other. The teen's case will continue through juvenile court unless a judge decides he should be treated as an adult. A second man is now accusing a Red Bank police officer of beating him as well. 34-year-old Anthony Lopez was arrested by Officer Mark Kaler August 4th. Lopez claims Kaler seriously injured him while he was handcuffed and on his knees. He says the skin was torn off his head, leaving it open and bleeding. But unlike the other beating Kaler is being investigated for, there are no recordings of this incident, and Kaler's affidavit includes no mention of how Lopez got his injuries. Police have identified the body found in the Tennessee River during Sunday's Ironman swimming event. Chattanooga police say the man was 34-year-old Stephen Paul Calhoun. His body was found floating under the Old Giotti Bridge around 8.30 a.m. In the last three months, Calhoun had been charged seven times for public intoxication, and he was listed among the city's homeless population. Police are still investigating the circumstances of his death. The Idaho man who killed a canine police dog in Walker County has pleaded guilty. Police say Stephen Lee Waldemar shot the dog who was just two years old. Waldemar also pleaded guilty to sexual battery, aggravated assault of an officer, and possession of explosives by a felon. He's been sentenced to 25 years in prison. A tractor-trailer driver was killed in a crash in Marion County Wednesday. Officials say Jimmy Dodd of Milwaukee, Wisconsin was thrown from the vehicle. The cause of the accident remains under investigation. Hamilton County commissioners have passed a resolution expressing their support of Amendment 1 in Tennessee. The amendment would let state lawmakers pass regulations on abortion. Commissioners voted 5-2 to two to show their support. Greg Beck and Warren Mackey voted against it. State residents will vote on the issue November 4th. Finally, a former Silverdale inmate is suing for $5 million after falling out of bed. Brian Thomas Masiniak had been ordered by a doctor at the jail to sleep on a bottom bunk because of health problems. But a CCA employee ordered him to sleep on top. He fell to the concrete floor, fracturing his hip. A nurse allegedly said he was faking, and another employee told him to wait a few hours to see if his pain would go away. Masiniak says he was left on the ground for nearly nine hours and even had to eat breakfast on the floor. He was taken to Erlanger Hospital only after his cellmate convinced employees he was injured. And even after he was given surgery, attorneys claim Silverdale refused to offer Masiniak any care. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 87 degrees. The low tonight will be around 66. That's it for today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.